Hi, this is John with Light of the Scripture, inoculating you against the woke mindset of this world with the Word of God, with the Bible. And today we're going to look at 2 Peter 3, 9. And uh, it's a word about repentance. It says, The Lord is not slow in keeping His promises, as some understand slowness. He's patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Uh, I know some people uh, sometimes get impatient with God. They pray and they don't have their prayers answered. Or uh, we uh, look at biblical promises and uh, we see that these are not always fulfilled as quickly as we want. Uh, we tend to be really impatient sometimes. And uh, here we see that uh, we have assurance from the scripture, uh, from Peter, and from the Holy Spirit, saying that the Lord is not slow in keeping his promises. Uh, the timing of God is impeccable. And uh, it's not the same as the timing of man. We want to do everything in, you know, uh, just instantly. We, uh, you know, put our stuff in the microwave and then we pace and we, you know, because uh, the microwave doesn't warm up our food as, as quickly as we would like. But um, uh, the timing of God is, is totally different. And uh, sometimes God does things over long periods of time. And uh, so uh, we need to, uh, Lord, a lot of times will use these things to teach us patience. And, uh, but God is always faithful in keeping um, his promises that are in the Bible. And he's uh, faithful for providing for his uh, children. And uh, so if you've got prayers, pray them. And, uh, but depend upon God's timing. And if you're born again, uh, then you will have answers to those prayers if you're living a holy life. And if you're not living a holy life, then you need to repent um, of those sins. And here it says here that uh, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Why does he want us to come to repentance? And what is repentance? Well, repentance is rejection of sin. Uh, denying uh, that uh, we want to have sin in our life and are turning away from sin. And um, sometimes God uh, doesn't answer prayers because he needs us to come to repentance. He needs us to forsake that sin and to depend on him. And the fact is, he's not going to be answering any prayers uh, unless uh, we are living holy. And uh, now, he will answer the first prayer that a person makes, uh, that prayer to be saved, because we don't have the ability to uh, be holy in and of ourselves. He has to enter into us, and we have to receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior uh, in order uh, to uh, gain holiness, have his holiness applied to us. The Bible says that the righteousness of man is like filthy rags, and uh, we're, you know, evil by nature. But he wants us all to come to repentance because repentance uh, means that we're getting our hearts ready to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. So if you've not repented of your sins, I want to encourage you to do just that. And you might even write down your sins. I know that uh, whenever uh, people are working the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, and also those 12 steps are used with other drug uh, treatment uh, uh, programs, um, the individuals end up writing an inventory. And that's basically uh, the same. The, if you look at that from a spiritual standpoint, that's basically identifying what sinful behaviors that you've been engaged in. And then you make a, uh, a, a in step five, uh, you make a, a prayer to God. You turn all that stuff over to God and uh, confess that to another person. And that's a difficult thing to do, to uh, confess your shortcomings. But um, that's uh, whenever we repent, we should have a process very similar to that. And, uh, you know, a confession to God is very, very effective if you mean it. And uh, so you need to repent of your sin and then uh, ask Jesus Christ to save you of your sin. He will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. That's a biblical guarantee. 
He will transform you from the inside out and uh, make you clean in the eyes of God. Uh, it says that when the blood is applied, then Jesus sees our, uh, God sees our heart uh, with the blood of Jesus applied to it, then it is seen by God as white as snow. Uh, all that sin he remembers no more. He casts it as far as the east is from the west. And it is a very good feeling to be freed from the burden of sin. This is John with uh, uh, the light of the scripture encouraging you to get deep into the word of God and let the word of God get deep into you.